hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we will be solving code forces round 898 fourth problem that is the 1d eraser pause the video read the question then i'll explain cool so what it is saying that there will be a strip of paper s that is n cells long and each cell is either black or white now what we need to do is we can take any k consecutive cell and make them white it is one operation okay so now one operation what we can do is we know that there will be a n cells long strip and we can in one operation we can take any k consecutive cell and make them all white now we have to return the minimum number of operation needed to remove all black cells so what it is saying that so let's say we have this kind of strip and now this will be either black or white so let's say here it's black and rest I'm not making white so let's say these are black now we will have some k given so let's say k is 3 so what the question is so for the size of 3 we can pick any consecutive sub array okay of size k so either we can pick this or we can pick this any anything anything sorry it was not clear so any size sub array of k and then we can make them all white and now we need to change this strip to something like this that it will be all white something like this that it will be all white so a very straightforward question so let's say let's say if i want to turn this white okay then what are the best what is the best way to select the sub area of size k if i'll select let's say k is 3 so is it better to select this 3 or this three or from here to here this three so it is best so we should be selecting starting from this position till the next k or like starting from this position to k cells okay because it might happen that if you select the previous there may not be extra b's that is select getting selected like right now if we start from here this b will get missed out and for this b we'll have to perform another operation so what we can do is we can select b and then we can just forget about the next k minus one cell so if we select this the next k minus one cell we can ignore because in this operation we would have converted them to white okay so similarly if we'll then after converting this or after performing one operation over here we can if we are at i we can simply go to k i plus k minus one sorry i plus k okay so i plus kth position is here okay so here now again if it's black then we'll perform one operation and then we'll go similar fashion till we reach the end or here okay so by in that fashion what we will get the maximum number of operation we need to perform this is a very straightforward question so we'll just take the input n and k after taking n and k we'll have one answer that will represent the number of operation we need to perform okay now we run the loop if it's the black cell then what we will do we'll, in, uh, we'll perform one operation so we'll decrement the count by one and we will move the pointer to i plus k minus one i am decrementing by one because it's a for loop and will increase the one i by one eventually so that's why i am pointing to i plus k minus one so that after the loop ends for that particular iteration it will become i plus k okay so if once we reach the end we can simply return our answer i hope this would be clear with you if you guys have any doubt on this do ping in the comment section thank you guys